Boys and gents, home city reaction, and this is the most brutal ant, the slaver ant, Polygus, Polygus, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, by channel Khuzgazad in a nutshell. Yeah, another ant video by Khuzgazad. I'm glad he hadn't abandoned it, right? I guess he said it in the last video or something, or people are saying in comment, but uh, I knew that he's gonna continue the ant thing, it's not gonna be the last one. But still, uh, there was a three ant video before this, which I watched. First time I ever saw ants in a different way, right? I never knew how complex and how societal, I don't know how else to say that, how they, they live in this kind of a, uh, you know, societal way, right? They have wars. They have their own jobs. They do this. This they are way too complicated than I would have thought. I just, oh, look, ants. I know they, you know, they are organized in a way, right? They can, you know, put up, you know, pick up things that are much higher than their weight or whatever. But that's where my knowledge kind of ended, right? Like they can communicate some more, sure. But I did not know they were this little, you know, uh, complex that they actually have wars. They have this whole colonies and shit. Oh, this is so incredible. So this is about the slaver ant. So yeah. Let's watch it. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to react tomorrow. I've done quite a few courses of that video. If you haven't seen them, check out the link in the description. There you'll find it. And yeah, let's watch it. Everything changed when the slaver nation attacked. What used to be a thriving colony is now a captured country. Slaves do the work, serving their new masters until they die, only to be replaced by new victims harvested in brutal raids. But let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> the world war of the ants is claiming millions of lives every day. But in the brutal world of ants, straight up war is not the only way. Around 50 ant species practice slavery, the most extreme division of labor. We don't know how this began, but some ant species perfected this cruel trade. Meet Polyergus the most intense of the slave oh, ant tribes. Okay. There are different species, but generally they're four to 10 millimeters long with brown to blackish bodies and sickle-shaped mandibles. Polyergus has specialized in slavery so much that they've lost their ability to care for themselves. They don't clean, build nests, care for their brood, or feed themselves. They only exist for raiding. Slaves make up 80 to 90 percent of the ants in their colonies, so a few hundred polyergus and a single queen control thousands of slave ants. What? We'll summarize and simplify what we know about polyergus into one grand story. You can find more information in our sources. So now, let's witness the cruel banality of... <laughs> I was just about to say that before the message appeared, like, <laughs> if there are so little of them and majority of them are literal slave ants that were raided and you know captured by from other you know other ants why are they not revolting since they are the majority and then <laughs> like you know we are humanizing but they're ants remember that i'm like yeah okay <laughs> nature the raid it all begins on a mild summer morning on a sunny field witness this colony of over 10,000 four mica ants genetically cousins of polyergus, who build a thriving nest underground. They are a widespread genus. Some species are good fighters, some great builders, and some cattle farmers, often welcomed by humans because they hunt vermin that hurt forests. Nobody noticed the lone polyergus scout that briefly showed up this morning before she bolted away again. The attack begins in the early afternoon. The scout returned from her mission to find the formica nests. She dances erratically and spreads pheromones that excite and mass recruit more and more ants until a large raiding party of a thousand warrior S's has formed. A close-packed, well-organized column up to 10 meters long begins to move. As the Polyergus raiding party arrives at the Formica colony, the attack begins almost immediately. Dozens of attackers begin digging and clearing up debris from the nest's entrance to make it easier to storm. As soon as they're done, Hundreds of the attackers rush inside. The defenders vastly outnumber their attackers and are formidable warriors able to shoot at it. But instead of fighting back effectively, they seem confused and scatter rather than fighting back. Okay, Polyergus why? also seems to be somewhat resistant to the acid sprays of the defenders. Oh. And so even if a defense is forming, the attackers use their mandibles to pierce and kill. 
There are a few different ideas as to why polyergus attacks are so efficient, and one of the most fascinating ones is chemical warfare. Yeah. Instead of relying on brute force, they release a propaganda pheromone that makes the defenders panic, unable to mount an organized defense. The attackers have nothing to gain. Oh my god, this complexity. I fucking love this. I love how they basically co come from a very distant part of the farm. As soon as one scouts is oh, there's that colony goes back, recruits them. Now the entire the army moves towards it, right? 10 meters long, army, whatever. And the fighting, even though they're outnumbered, first of all, I think it's psychological warfare in a way that the ants realize that their attack is not doing anything since they're resistant to their, you know, acid attack, right? So that could be, but yeah, pheromone one, that could make sense as well. It just, you know, we walk around, see ants, just, you know, that, oh, look at that, they're ants. We don't even think this kind of complexity, this is so good. Gain from intense ant-to-ant -ant combat other than immense casualties. What's more, they actually want their victims to survive so that they can be raided again in a few weeks. As the raid unfolds, the attackers breach deep into the colony, looking for their most valuable possession, the colonist babies. They grab the pupae and larvae that will make up the next generation of Formica and carry them out of the nest. Damn. Hundreds are abducted and brought back to the Polyergus colony in this raid alone. Well, most of them. A few unlucky ones are eaten as a sort of snack. The surviving victims will be turned be horror into music slaves. In the After about an hour, the raid is over and the Formica can begin to recover. It seems their only strategy is to make even more ants. A decent-sized colony can forfeit thousands of pupae in a single raiding season and still survive. Although in this case, while the raid was going on, something even more sinister happened. Hold that thought though, because how are Polyergus turning ants Whoa. into slaves? How to brainwash ant slaves? Ants conquered almost the entire planet over 100 million years ago. They owe their success to being social animals that perfected chemical communication. Chemical signals and cues let ants know what their colony needs and mm. what each individual should do. And most importantly in this case, who is a friend or foe? Slave-making ants are much less social than other ant species. Some species miss a lot of the genes other ants have to make communication possible. In a sense, they are bad at talking to each other. So it may be that as Polyergus ancestors started to abduct other ants, they lost the ability to collaborate and work together productively. Soon after the stolen Formica offspring have been brought to the slaver colony, they are progressively covered in Polyergus pheromones. They are chemically imprinted, similar to a duckling who imprints on its mother after birth. Oh. When the new slaves hatch, they behave as though they are part of the Polyergus colony Damn. and begin to work for them unconditionally, keeping the nest clean, caring for the next generation of slaves and masters, hunting for food and feeding their enslavers mouth to mouth. This sort of brainwashing goes so far that if they encounter free Formica ants in the wild, they will treat them as enemies. In a sense, they're not true slaves. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, okay. Damn, so seriously, uh, this, so a genetic uh, changes, right, th throughout evolution, uh, you know, made them this way. They can communicate with, with each other. They, they are bad at it, like he said, like, you know, chemically cannot communicate with each other like that. So they basically, you know, take babies. Sure, why not? You know, eggs, babies, whatever. Basically, you know, prints them with their own, you know, chemical hormones or whatever, and, you know, make them their own, right? So when they hatch or whatever, they, they think that that's the parent or I don't know. I don't, I'm, again, I'm making, I'm human, if, I'm seeing this as a human way instead of ants, but the point is they belong to them. So even though they're slaves, I'm pretty sure they, in their mind, they, they belong to that, you know, polyergus ant, right? Uh, because as soon as it was born, it was imprinted that, that way, and since it's born, it's there, so it just act as the colony. That's fucked up, right? I mean, <laughs> damn. I did not see this coming, right? Like, ants could be like this kind of a horror movie type of, you know, mind control shit like this. As they serve willingly and show no interest in freedom. Yeah. It's more like violent abduction and adoption, which doesn't make things that much better. Seriously, it's a Hollywood and as movie the shit. Formica only live for a few months, a constant new supply of victims is necessary. To survive, Polyergus can never stop enslaving. How to make new slave colonies? 
How are new Polyergus colonies created? After all, Polyergus workers are so useless that a queen can't start a new colony without slaves. But how does she make slaves without warriors? It turns out there are two main strategies. The more dangerous one might unfold during a raid like the one we witnessed before. A young Polyergus queen silently follows the raiding party. Using the chaos of the invasion, she's able to find her way to the Formica Queen and kill her, taking over the Shaken Colony. Although what? such a victory may be very short-lived, Polyergus do not tolerate other slaver colonies within their hunting ground. They raid each other fiercely too and can destroy the competing colonies nearby. So Ooh, I see what's happening there. Because they're bad at socializing, they enslave in the first place because of that. So they would see anybody else, other bodies of Polyergus. They're not gonna, you know, work together because that was the problem to begin with. So they are the enemy colony now as well. <coughs> they are literally like, you know, I guess, vampire type of mentality, right? Taking over shit, taking over, you know, enslaving people, taking over ants, and now taking over the fucking colony as well. I don't know why that's worse, right? If two ant war happens, one ant destroys the entire colony, other colony, Somehow that's fine compared to this because this is even worse. I don't know, because you know, they turn, turn them or something, this is horrible. While this tactic sometimes works, it is pretty dangerous. Another young queen is going for a different strategy. Okay. She's looking for a Formica colony that is further from her birthplace, attacking a whole colony on her own. She bolts through an entrance, pushing aside confused ants that try to stop her, releasing a powerful appeasement pheromone that drives defenders away. She has only a short time window to find the four Michael. I'm, I'm imagining some kind of an epic movie where uh, uh, some, you know, sorcerer or something comes and just, you know, waves her hand because she's too powerful and just, you know, make, tell him everybody to fuck off, basically. The Star Wars thing, right? <laughs> Queen deep in the hostile nest. Once she finds her target, both queens engage in a fight to the death. The Polyergus queen is well equipped with her sharp mandibles. She bites and rips into her victim for about half an hour before she finally calms half down. An hour. Between her bites, Damn. she licks the chemical surface of the dead Formica queen, covering herself in her pheromones. When she's done with this macabre ritual, Formica workers approach her. Subdued by her intense smells, they start grooming and feeding her as though pledging their allegiance to their new ruler. She still might not be done though. Not my new ruler, they, th they think that's their own queen because of the pheromones, right? They don't know anything about it. They, they think that's the same queen, I guess. I don't know. That's just fucked up. Like colonies often have multiple queens who all need to be defeated, which is not guaranteed. Often, attacking queens will be stopped by a phalanx of workers that rip her apart or are defeated in royal battle. But if she does manage to kill all the queens, the colony has been taken over and the enslaved brood will begin to serve a new queen, the usurper. Can you take a second and appreciate how Khuskazad can make all these ants videos like it's some Lord of the Rings type of battle type of situation with the animation, music and everything? She now begins laying eggs that are cared for by her new slaves until new Polyergus ants hatch that will soon start new raids on neighboring colonies. No matter what we humans do, quietly below our feet, the world war of the ants is raging. Yes, with wild and horrible strategies fought by billions of individuals every single day. Polyergus will continue to hunt for slaves as to stop raiding would be their demise. And in the war of the ants, there is no giving up. We want to explore even more ant species in videos to come. Yeah. But not just ants. Our planet has so many more wonders to marvel at and learn about. That is, if we manage to preserve their habitats and turn the tide on climate change. Something we're very passionate about at Kotzkazat and have covered extensively in past videos. Something we are really passionate about. That says a lot about our society, right? Where, you know, Kotzkazat has to say that. Something that we are passionate about. You might not be. You might not be passionate about saving our fucking planet. But we are. We found a partner to turn our dedication into action. We'll pay to offset one month of your carbon emissions with the help of our friends from REN. By visiting REN.co and answering a few questions, you can find out your personal carbon footprint. Your first step should be to reduce your footprint, but there are limits to that. Yeah, people, go to REN.co for us, Kazgazat, and I guess support this uh, you know, movement. It's uh, you know, good, obviously. 
carbon reduction, yeah, carbon capture, no, but carbon reduction is good. Car carbon capture, I don't know where I saw it. I think I read an article or something about it, like capturing carbon requires more energy than it would have captured in the first place, something like that, the technology is not there. But yeah, carbon redu reduction and everything else, the basically what the cusps of videos are, right? That definitely works. And as far as ants, oh my god, this is the fourth ant video in Kuzgaz art series that I watched. And it's the fourth one that they made. And like they say, they're going to make more of it. Another. I cannot wait for that because I've never seen any quality videos like that ever. Like I said, my view on ants literally changed because of Kuzgaz art series. And this is so epic, man. So there are, you know, Hollywood horror movie style ants called poly Polyergus. I forgot. Polyergus. Polyergus ants. <laughs> in order to survive i mean that's that you know that's that genes i guess now that's the dna they can't be social that much they can communicate with them that much so they have to use this technique to enslave other ants for their society to constantly move forward oh that's so fucked up that's so fucked up for the and one queen can just you know like a badass like a you know movie sorceress you know some evil witch or something like that can just walk into another society and take over it i guess <laughs> that's just fucked up right well that was the most brutal and the slaver and polyergus by channel in a nutshell if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time